Hello, Kelly Blatnick with Blatnick Law here to discuss briefly the process for filing a claim in the Las Vegas Justice Court. Las Vegas Justice Court claims are claims that are under $15,000. The Las Vegas Justice Court has more relaxed rules of civil procedure in comparison to the district court. Generally speaking, the first thing you must do is send out a demand letter via certified mail to the defendant or party that you claim owes you money. If you're looking for forms, go to www.lasvegasjusticecourt.us slash forms, and you'll be able to find a lot of forms for the self-help center. So if you want to file something yourself, you will be able to go to the website and do so. After you filed the certified mail, which is a demand letter, and the demand letter has to have certain specific things in it, and the really best way for a pro se litigant to do this is go to the Las Vegas Justice Court website, use their forms, fill them in. I find the Las Vegas Justice Court website is extraordinarily beneficial and useful for pro se or pro per litigants. After you filed the certified mailings and waited the appropriate time, then you're able to file a petition or a complaint, also available on the Las Vegas Justice Court website. The complaint then must be served. You can use a private process server. My law firm uses Nationwide Legal, or you can use the sheriff. There are many, many different businesses that are able to serve. You can't serve it yourself. A litigant can't, can't like tape the complaint or the petition to someone's door or hand it to them and say that's service. No, it has to be a non-party to do the service. And there needs to be an affidavit of service. Once the sheriff or your private party service process server has served, they should return to you an affidavit of service and that affidavit of service needs to be filed. After the affidavit of service, typically the Las Vegas Justice Court will set up a trial date and I say that because it is a trial, but it's more like a hearing. And I just had one this week, and it was the first time I've been to Las Vegas Justice Court since the pandemic hit. And I thought they did a really good job of, at least my witnesses were able to testify telephonically. The lawyers had to be there in person, which I was very nervous about, but everyone was wearing masks and social distancing. I think the Las Vegas Justice Court did a really good job. And at the hearing, the judge will ask questions. Typically in district court, it's the attorneys who do the questioning of the witnesses. But at the Las Vegas Justice Court, the judge or the judicial officer will ask questions about the documents and about the claim to try to understand what the parties are disputing and how to resolve the dispute. From what I saw this week in court, if it is a default judgment, meaning that the complaint was properly served, had the proper demand prior to the complaint being filed and the defendant didn't show up, then a default judgment is issued in favor of the plaintiff. If the plaintiff fails to show up, but the defendant shows up or the plaintiff and defendant both fail to show up, typically the case is just dismissed without prejudice, meaning that the case is closed, it's dismissed. And if the plaintiff wants to bring the case again, they may depending upon statute of limitations for their particular claim. Um, from what I saw based upon the changes with COVID-19, if there was a decision by the judge based upon a dispute where there was live testimony provided, the judge took it under advisement. I personally thought that was a really good change in light of the COVID-19. It moved cases along faster. It got people out of the courtroom and it was able to increase social distancing. So overall, if you're trying to do something yourself in the Las Vegas Justice Court, I would recommend that you go to the court's website, use their forms, get out the demand letter via certified mail, make sure that you have the complaint properly served, and then appear for your hearing or trial when it is, is noticed to occur. You may also do a motion for telephonic appearance if you're worried about being exposed. And at least in my instance, at least in my case, the judge allowed my witness who was out of state to testify via telephone. Don't know whether or not the judge will do that in your case, but that is absolutely something that you can do if you're worried about the virus or if you're having to travel or if there's some issues that you can't make it to the courthouse. There you can file a motion for telephonic appearance. And that is how you're able to file a case yourself in the Las Vegas Justice Court. The website is very helpful and that's lasvegasjusticecourt.us. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe to them. 
and write something in the comments if there's an area of law that you'd like me to discuss.